Hi, welcome to this part. We will look at AWS Data Exchange. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button. So this playlist is totally focused in helping you prepare for the Solution Architect Associate C03 and Solution Architect Professional C01 and C02 certifications. Subscriptions will help you stay tuned to the latest content. Now let us try to understand what is Data Exchange and why did Amazon create this platform. So many times when you are working for different clients, there are applications which require, for example, currency conversions. Now suppose your client is a healthcare client or your client is a publishing client. They would not have applications which will maintain this data exchange or the conversion currency exchange. So what you do they do is there are third party companies and your client would tie up with these third party companies here so that your global applications they will connect with the third party data providers through api calls and get those data sets for example in this use case the currency conversion data is maintained by the third party data third party so which are those third party so some of them like for example open exchange rates this is one of them moneyphp.org is one of them and there is a company called exchange rates you can use api calls and get those exchange rates so it becomes very easy for you as a client not to worry about the data, the refresh of the data. This third party companies will make sure that the data is always refreshed. You know that the exchange rates keep changing day on day, minute by minute, hour by hour. So that exchange rate data company would take care of refreshing the data sets. Keeping that intention in mind, Amazon launched a service called Data Exchange. Under Data Exchange, it has two categories, solutions and data sets. If you look at data sets, it has data sets for various industries. For example, automotive, CPG and retail, financial services, gaming, healthcare, manufacturing, and so on. Similarly, they have solutions which are specific to, for example, COVID-19, retail, ESG and sustainability, healthcare, macroeconomics, technology, and so on. So why, why, why on earth did Amazon create this solution, everything in one place, why? So you as a client do not have to worry about these data sets. There are some ready-made data sets which have been provided. You have to just pay as you go. In the on-premises world, you have to figure out which companies you have to refer, which API calls you have to make to access those subscriptions from those companies. In the AWS world, Amazon has done those tie-ups with you. Imagine Amazon as a centralized repository where they have done most of the things for you so that you don't have to research. You can directly utilize these services to make your things work. Now, in the earlier days, we used to see that data exchange could only happen via APIs, but Amazon Thank God that Amazon provides it through API file stables and through partnerships. If you look at APIs, what's the advantage of API is, for example, this global application, whenever it needs the conversion rate, it will fire an API call to the third party data and take the exchange rate for that point in time. The advantage is efficient data retrieval, streamlined data procurement and compliance and data governance. You don't have to worry about whether the data is accurate because those third party applications ensure that they are compliant and they, their data can be trusted. Amazon has taken care of all of those trust issues. Now, remember that you as a subscriber do not need to build data pipelines, custom based data pipelines. When you talk about bespoke, that means custom data pipelines to synchronize the data. It is all happening automatically if you use this service. Now, what happens with data files? You can not only fire APIs, but you can actually get a file. So what Amazon has done is they have they are loading the entire data sets because you know if you are doing a wide scale deep learning program machine learning program you would not do api calls and get one row at a time or 10 rows at a time you want the entire data set with you if you want to do that they will give you data files which are already loaded what's the advantage they are direct loads so when you're subscribing to a file based data product customers can use the data api to load the data directly to s3 so your data comes directly to s3 and you can run your SageMaker and so on to do deep analysis the Types of files are unlimited. You can get images, audio files, satellite imagery, CSV files, shape files, and etc. So what happens once you get this data in S3? Once you get this data in S3, you can have ML integration through maybe SageMaker or wide stack of analytics and ML services. You can use Athena, you can use QuickSight, you can use Grafana and so on. Plus, there is also one additional beauty. You can get those data sets in tables. How they are putting everything in Amazon Redshift so that you, you as a client, do not have to worry about writing an ETL program and load the data into a Redshift database. There are certain databases which already have those data sets available. You can directly connect to Redshift and pull that data. What is the advantage? Efficient data queries. You can fire queries which are highly performant and directly query the data in minutes. Okay, Amazon Redshift without extracting, transforming and loading the data. You don't have to worry about ETL. It's a simple management of data licensing 
and it's a streamlined procurement because customers can use the data as soon as it is published. You don't have to worry about the staleness of the data. I mean, a lot of time when you try to build such programs, ETL programs, and you get the data in Redshift, many times the data is a bit stale. But in this case, you don't have to worry about it. It is taken care of automatically by data exchange. Now let us look at some of the financial data sets. For example, in this case, 20 years of end of stock data is available for the top 10 US companies. Okay, so you want to do some analysis and understand what is the trend for the last 20 years for the top companies and so on. You can directly use these data sets and perform your analysis, deep learning and so on. Similarly, there is something available for cryptocurrency exchange. You can use that. So there are so many solutions. Everything is available in the marketplace. You see this, I am on the marketplace and you can search for data sets. You can search for solutions, ready-made solutions and so on. Now let us look at data sets. You see these data sets, there are so many data sets. For example, if I click manufacturing, you see I see US imports, automated manifest systems, shipments, automated supply chain sample data. If you want to do some data analysis on supply chain data sets, you can do it. Some of these data sets are free. Some of these are uh, by subscription. So you see this, this is free. 12 month, 12 month subscription is also available. Okay. And it is published by a company called Worst AI. So here you see the license cost for this activity monitoring system is $17,500 or 12 month subscription is available. Okay, so it depends upon what sort of requirements you have and what data sets would make more sense for your analysis using machine learning or Grafana or some analytics tools like Tableau and so on. Similarly, just like data sets, you can also have a look at solutions. If you look, click the solutions and click healthcare, you see all of the healthcare solutions here. So for example, you have something called quantify health what these solutions do is it will accelerate your research it will improve patient care it will help you quantify the health outcomes so there are some ready-made solutions you can also use you can also go to marketplace and have a look at all of these solutions from a certification standpoint you always have to remember that there are three ways to do the data exchange primarily apis files and tables plus there is also a provision to you know get more partnership involved data exchange would provide solutions as well as data sets for different industry categories and it is a solution which is provided so that you can access third party data and solutions okay with this i would take a pause and do not forget to hit the subscribe button because subscriptions helps me a lot to understand the pulse of the audience based on the subscription i try to create contents which are more interesting for the audience this brings us to the end of this part we looked at data exchange and how it, this is important for the certifications stay tuned and i will put some more video contents at the fag end of this video let us also look at for example for the gaming there are so many applications on data sets which is available for gaming. For example, Australian horse racing sample data. So if you want to do some analysis on the gaming data sets, you can do that. There is something called pure skill competitive CS geo gameplay and so on. Media and entertainment attributes, individual versus household level. There are so many excellent stuff. So sports betting, alpha forecaster. And this is very expensive, $36,000 very expensive for a 3, 6 or 12 months license subscription. So you can go to the marketplace, click on any of these products and then try to see what they are offering. So for a 3 months license, they are charging $36,000, which is man, very expensive. For a 6 months, 60000 for a 12 months, it's kind of 100k plus. Okay, And you can go through the overview and see if this is really helpful for your client requirements and etc. What are the data sets which is available? Where is it stored? Is it stored on S3 objects? Okay, and it is uh, available in the US, West, Oregon region. 